beautiful souls of planet Earth. It's so good to see you this morning. It is September 1st, 2022, and it is another beautiful day of disclosure. Oh, we got Hell's Fire Studio. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Babs Williamson. Good to see you. Arlene, thanks for being here. And we've got Mind Forks. I'm super happy to get started. I can't believe we've got the new start to a month now. Thank goodness. What's up, Arlene? Let me tell ya, August is over. September is here. Halloween is on the rise. Halloween! Um, obviously, I'm very excited about the holidays that are going to be happening. But more than anything, I'm just really happy that you guys are here. Um, today's show, we're covering a lot of fun things today in today's show. I have the Ozzy Osbourne clip, uh, or the thumbnail. It's going to be an interesting show, but fear not. We're also going to be talking about the Hill article and how Congress has multiple videos now that we figured out. Thank you. Good morning, Adam. Thank you, Chris, for sharing it. I truly appreciate it. Um... Yeah, and so we're going to go over Ozzy Osbourne's show, his son's show, which I think will be interesting because he's going to the Unita Basin, and we're going to be using this rock from the Unita Basin. That's where Skinwalker Ranch is. We're going to be using this rock from Blind Frog Ranch to channel you guys today, mm -hmm. as well as our crystal. We're doing crystal magic, crystal magic. Um, and then I think I'll use my alien my alien organite. Hey man, Halloween's pretty cool. Christmas, it's all of it. I get excited. September's here, so the summer's like, in my mind, summer's like, you know. It's done. It's done. What is up, Zach? What is up? Hey, what is up? We got Pinzer Linzer. Yeah. Jack. You like Jack? Like Jack Dawson? Mmm. I like Jack Dawson. I got a whole, uh, I had a Jack Dawson moment yesterday. It was very cool. It was very cool. But for today, we are going to be using a couple different crystals. Like I was saying, I was gathering them. I was gathering them. We've got our nice quartz here this morning. And we have our Line Frog Ranch. I mean, we're talking about we're talking about the Unita Basin. I figured. Hey, we got FAP here. Oh, we've got Lynn Hurley from Rebellious Ufology. Ufology. Now I don't even know how to pronounce Ufology anymore. Something's going on. <sighs> we're gonna do Dalmatianite again today. Um, Dalmatianite is it's about relationships, so we'll throw that in there. Uh, orange calcite definitely supposed to be bringing in like positivity things like that hey mind blowing hi handsome thank you so much that's a beautiful compliment so kind and then we'll do our organite okay okay so and we've got ed witt in here okay so i think we got a good amount of people to do a reading on like a reading spirit has already called me to use some specific decks so i'll be using that um but other than that everybody take a deep breath hmm. okay okay gentle energies this morning is the best way i can describe what i'm feeling from the ufo live chat fam so i'm going to get into the reading for those of you who are just joining us we do a reading before we do the show it's our starseed reading of the day um and we do one every single day i try to time stamp it um and also when i do the reading sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with the chat uh, but usually once the show starts, I start to get, I start to get into it. Um, okay. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the work your light Oracle deck right here. So spirit, if you could just give us peace, if you could just give us love, if you could just give us all the things that we need to know to reach the highest, greatest self for ourselves today, what is it that we need to do to reach that higher self spirit? 
what is it that we need to know to reach that higher self? Just let us know. Let us know, spirit. Okay. What do we need to know today for star seeds? What do star seeds need to know today? What do star seeds need to know today? Oh my gosh, nothing's coming out. All right, I'll just do this. Must be spirit calling me to do this. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Wow. Okay. What are you clinging on to? The crumbling. Wow. Yeah, it's about letting go of the. We've been taught this has been a year of car, or not a year, but like a week of karmic discussion. Honestly, every day we've had something about karma, which maybe is normal with these readings. Um, but there tends to be something maybe going into the next direction in your life. There might be a fork in the road. Um, that maybe you can decide to go this way or that way. But you have to remove the cling. You have to remove the cling that you have onto whatever it is that's crumbling down. It's okay. Things rebirth, things change, things evolve. And it's the beauty of being alive. Oh my gosh, Mr. Catfish, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I truly appreciate it. I'll start yelling and screaming about it too after the reading for sure. Because <laughs> you guys know me. Um, I just want to focus on the reading and then I'm going to be talking about how thankful I am for you Mr. Catfish on so many different levels so spirit if you could just let me know whoa that one just popped out okay so this is in regards to the crumbling letting go of things that you might be clinging on to first beautiful learning how to be human in the world but not of it okay so you just need to find some grounded energy, stand on your grounded energy. It's kind of cool. Look, she's in like this crystal flame. Stay in your grounded energy. Hold on to your grounded energy. Let go of this thing that's changing. It's evolving. It's, it's, it's doing a different thing. Let go and, and let it crumble. Okay. And stay in your earth energy. You might not be able to control everything that's happening around you but you can control how connected you are to the earth how grounded and and that is what you are in control of starcy okay all right i gotta get back to the super chat man super thankful all right and if you are just joining us um this is one of those times like i said take what works for you in the reading leave what doesn't you know and this is that time for you to lower your uh volume like your rock and roll that loud so here we go <laughs> uh-huh we like this song it's the catfish we're tired we're waking up we're waking up it's time to wake up you gotta wake up we gotta start the day i'm sorry i'm to start the day what is up good morning everyone i saw some more people rolling into the chat i saw randall hill here good morning Oh, Mr. Cabbage, you're leaving. We love you, man. We got F. Quitting. Tim Freestone. Alien Girl. FAP, what is up? What is up? Yeah, man, have a beautiful day, man. Have a beautiful day, Mr. Catfish. Good morning, UFO. It is Thursday, September 1st, 2022, and we have got a big, bad, amazing show planned for you today, just like we do every day. It's another beautiful day of disclosure. We are going to lift it up because you know what? You never know what's going to happen next. One day you could be sleeping under a bridge, and the next you can be on the finest ship in the world having an amazing dinner with all sorts of amazing people. The sun is rising. That is right. The sun is rising and let it rise. Yes. So, I mean, you're lurking, Sid Bitch. Yay! Sid Bitch is lurking. We love you. <sighs> and I think I saw Sapphire. Elf chilling. Yeah, right? Yeah, I saw Sapphire. Boom, boom. Okay. 
We got business to cover, my lovelies. Business, business, business. We lurk, we live, we love. Yes. So if you could do me a favor, if you could just help us out, if you could just help us make the show bigger and better and more amazing and expand, 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 if you could just like, if you could just subscribe, and if you could just share on your social media platforms, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and if you ever want to contact me, you can also contact me at aliengirl111 channel at gmail.com or message me on Twitter. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at aliengirl one. Oh my gosh! A five dollar or ten dollar super chat. Thankful we're heading for the cooler winter weather. August was fire. Yes, New Mexico is so on fire. And Babs, thank you for being a supporter, a sponsor of the channel. And also, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. You guys have no idea how much it helps to keep the show, for me to make it bigger and better every day. We are going to do it. We're going to go straight to the top. And as you guys know, I announce all the super chats at the end of the show. It's pretty cool. I think it's cool how I do it. I like break it down and I'm like, thank you so much to this person, like in the, in the exit. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think you guys are all cool, man. You wake me up. You help me keep it, keep it sane, keep it my sanity, man. All of you. So, that being said, let's jump right into it. So, I made the thumbnail to be about Ozzy Osbourne, right? Ozzy Osbourne is on. I know. I'm a little obsessed that he's Ozzy Osbourne. I think it's I think it's pretty damn cool, like that he's Ozzy Osbourne's son. I want to be Ozzy. I'm not trying to steal his thunder or not have you know Mr. Bobby. Is his name Bobby? Bobby Osbourne. I'm not trying to you know, but it's cool. It's his dad. I bet his dad's proud. But we're gonna get into that a little bit. I mean, that's a fluff piece for sure. And I like to follow what's going on the Twitter sphere. And right now, <laughs> on the Twitosphere, everyone's flipping out. What are they flipping out about? The Hill article. So let's go look at it. <laughs> yeah, because I know we're a little bit of a silly show. We're waking up. We're having fun. Yeah, exactly, Arlene. What's sanity? I couldn't tell you. Oh, wait, what? We like to listen to the music. Okay. I don't know where the sanity went. That went away a long time ago. A long time ago. And now we do UFOs every morning. Because you know what? We feel like it. They wanted to take the show down. There's been talks of it. You need to stop. You need to be done with this. Never. Never done with this. It just adds fuel to the fire. You think we should stop? All right. You guys know I'm not stopping. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, Jack, Jack Osborne does a good job. Jack Osborne does a good job. Um, we are going to be moving into this article. No, not that article. My God. Let me turn off the music. Lito's here. What's up, Lito? Welcome to the show from Atlantic City. I love it. I love it. Let's get some tunes on. Let's get some tunes. That's what we do. We're trying to wake up, dude. Liquid laser beam. Is that what it is? Yeah, I like starting it with this. It's like, done. All right, I said it, you know. I don't know why I avoid talking about the aliens. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, right? My sanity dropped when I... My son, when I had three children in five years, <laughs> girl, I pray. I'm praying, yeah, girl. Good. All right, I love you. I'm sending you so much love right now. <laughs> yes, but okay. Artemis launch. Well, yeah, we're gonna talk about the Artemis launch. Um, I'm excited about it happening. But like I said, a lot of people were talking about this on UFO Twitter. I believe it's the important thing for today, just to start at the top of the show. But, um, you know, we're going to jump into Ozzy, um, Jack Osborne, and this this show that he's coming out with. It's incredibly interesting because he's at unit, the unit of ASIN. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get into that in just a little bit. But I wanted to start it with this, which is that the Pentagon should release dozens of UFO videos. Basically, what's going on 
is allegedly, and not allegedly, the Pentagon has at least two dozen to 24 UFO videos in its possession, which would mean that these are UFO videos that are, according to them, um, totally legit. Aw, man, a little commercial. No. No. This closer would jeopardize sensitive sources and methods. Um, and then it kind of just goes into all the stuff that's been going on associated with it. Like, if the, if the Pentagon continued receiving 20 UFO videos every six months, it would have 100 in its possession by now. So, infrared technology is not inherently sensitive. So, I mean, this is interesting. We have got a storm of UFO activity that is happening right now are less afraid to talk about it and so is the government it appears the government i mean it's not like you know you should always question question the gov always no matter what political party you are you should always you know uh craft the government to be what the people want it to be that's why you know in america it's democracy right and i know there's democracies all over the world um, anyway, so it's not that like I'm anti-gov, it's just I love my government and I think things should be adjusted based on what the, the people enjoy. Um, and so, yeah, this came out and there was a lot of discussion about it all over Twitter. Um, maybe we can jump on and see what some people are seeing. I, I have a link to this in the description, but I'll also pop this real quick into the chat. So if you guys want to go check that out, but just don't, you know, don't, you know, don't leave. <laughs> Just open it up in a new tab. But there's that little article that you can check out. Um, and that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, and so we're going to jump again. I, I do think this is interesting. I need this to kind of go into a different direction. Here. I want, what do I want? Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to turn it down just a bit. It's a little loud for me. There we go. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, but I think we need to look over to see. There we go. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's flipping out about it. Yeah. Because I was like, you know, we'll talk about Jack Osborne and we'll talk about his show and everything, um, which is fun. But but when stuff just kind of like starts to explode and I've already made the thumbnail and we're a 24 hour show, you know, it's, it's bound to happen every once in a while. Uh, so here's what's going on on Twitter this morning. First, we've got Sean Cahill uh, discussing this, right? Um, he said, the government sources and methods claim dozens not hold water. The Pentagon must abide by its empathetic commitments to transparency and release all such UFO videos, which is, it, which is great. I think maybe I've become desensitized to these discussions, you know, like the government has the videos, you know, I'm like, okay, great. I can't wait to see it. Oh, hey, hon. What's up, Antonio? Good morning. Yeah, I, yeah, it's in, it's insane. It's it's uh, it's something something that's that's definitely new. Um, and that's the reason it's being discussed, right? Yeah, the government sources and methods claim does not hold water. The Pentagon must abide by its commitments to transparency yeah yeah so we found some extra footage they gotta reveal the footage we need the footage yeah that's what's going on i want this hill footage for sure 100 percent. i might change the thumbnail i just thought it was so cool to put i've never had ozzy osborne in any of my thumbnails you know um and we're gonna get into that in just a little bit but we have to cover this we had to it's just how it goes. All right. What do you know? Trending again by Merrick, Merrick R. Um, they just took some quotes they like. But the government's rationale, that disclosure would jeopardize the... Everybody loves that quote. But the government's rationale, this, that disclosure would jeopardize sensitive sources and material holds no water with many of the videos in our possession. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Um... Yeah, here we go. This was a uh, quite the UFO. This actually happened in New Mexico. 
this UFO. Um, this happened in New Mexico. Holy moly. <laughs> this happened in New Mexico. Wow. Wow, this happened near uh, Carlsbad, New Mexico, so like uh, about three hours south of uh, Albuquerque. But this is this is why I call it alien country. You know, we do have a lot of sightings. We we do have a lot of things going on here because you know the nuclear bomb was invented here in the same time period that the Roswell incident happened. You know, really discuss that. You know, uh, the Roswell crash happened three hours from the Trinity site. I think it's less than that. I think it's only two hours. Um, but so this is a this is from um, this is from Carlsbad, New Mexico. Um, so they're out there flying around as usual, right? Um, I'm looking at it. You know, very Phoenix light scene. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to think about. Oh, that's not a. Is that a flare? That doesn't look like a flare. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that is a little, that is a little nutty for sure. Um, send Richie over there post haste. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'll retweet it and stuff. Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. It's down there. Yes, Carlsbad is inter is amazing. It's got some amazing caverns down there. I like this UFO video. Ooh. Ooh, quite a bit. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. I am entranced. So, aliens came down to Carlsbad. There you go. We got the hill. Yeah, we gotta cover whatever is going on. And then James Fox, we discussed that. Alright. We kind of got an idea. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. All right, so you guys get the idea. Our usual Twitter. <laughs> it's funny, Luis is like upset in that video. Um, yeah, you know, we just kind of have to, to kind of, I would say, just go through things the best of our ability um, and try to get through this discussing things in a healthy debate. And I would also say focusing on like, on like being nice to each other a little bit during debates. Um, that could probably help just a little bit. What? YouTube removed my comment on democracy out of the top chat. <sighs> I get nervous, you guys. Talking about this stuff is also kind of like talking about free speech. And so that's also kind of part of, I mean, I got some flack for saying like, leave John alone when I made that video. Um, you know, like, but whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever that you love the chicks, man, <laughs> it's Casbet, New Mexico has some amazing breakfast burritos and chicks. <laughs> uh, I like it, you know, and so, yeah, cool that, you know, we got Congress, um, holding on to these, these things. People are very excited about it. I'm excited about it, you know. I guess once in a while, because I do this every day, every Monday through Friday, you know, I kind of looked at it and I was like, all right, you know, <laughs> will the government give us information? <laughs> you know, and maybe today I was just kind of like, you know, what did somebody else send me? What is this? Another UFO? Oh no, I think this is the one we looked at. What is this? I sent this to myself? I forget about UFOs I even look at. We got a ton of UFOs to look at today, honestly. They're all over. It's a triangular craft. Yeah, here you guys go. There's a triangular craft. They're freaking coming in droves today, man. I'm being serious, you know? Like, we follow this every day. Every day. And we got a lot. This was... This was yesterday. This was posted yesterday. This was seen recently. I mean, that kind of looks, I'm not gonna get into it, but when it's like a fireball in the sky like that, it's very hard to say no to. You know what I mean? Okay, I know I've been talking about Osborne. Hey Lisa, good morning. 
Um, you know, and that's the thing. We gotta, we gotta keep talking regardless of what happens. You know, Twitter's a powerful, Twitter's a powerful tool that we can use. Um, you know, then I really, let's use it. <laughs> yeah, let's get into Aussie. Let's get into Aussie. So, I mean, we do a little rundown. You know, I mean, I'll do more serious shows about stuff like this, but we cover a lot a lot of the stuff and yeah you know the government isn't following through with transparency but i don't know why that's shocked everybody <gasps> let's tweet it they better yeah you know that's what i say every morning they better tell us i know they're hiding it don't i do that every morning so i like for me i was like this is an everyday walk in the park you know tell me about the aliens today dude you know like i was like all right the government's hiding the aliens again another day another another day another ufo right <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> so I saw this on TMZ. I have an incredible interest when we get stars talking about it and when we get stuff hitting the mainstream. And I'll tell you what, Jack Osborne knows his stuff. I was impressed. We ain't playing it. I don't trust TMZ for a second. Yeah, you want to play it? Mm-hmm. You're not going to. Nope. Um we can look at clips right you get that one guy who owns tmz and he's like he's really into this ufo thing and jack osborne i mean he even i think he even went into raytheon and radiance technology i mean he has a very good grasp as to what's going on i'm very surprised not to find him on hashtag ufo twitter all this guy would have to do is hashtag ufo twitter once and bam he'd be part of the community so you know jack osborne if you're out there listening which I don't really assume you are. (laughs) Um, Oh, I hope I said hi to Baza. I forget things a lot. I don't know if you know that. Richie. Good morning, Richie. Um, In this little, I mean, in this little clip, he's, I mean, I I wish I I just don't trust the copyright on this because TMZ, I'm sure they got coding that counts everything. You know, oh, look at that. He's like, hey, the aliens. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, they make us happy a little bit. And they make us angry. So here's the show he's doing. Um, his little official trailer. In the trailer, here, we'll jump to the trailer. Oh, it's a trailer. Awesome. Perfect. So in the trailer here, he goes with Ben Hansen, actually, who was the guy yesterday that we covered. Um, the guy who came out with the F-18, the former F-18 guy seeing it. Jack Osborne here brings Ben Hansen to the Unita Basin, which is where me and my girls, Lynn Hurley and Akashi Chris, went when we went to the UFO Disclosure Symphonium in Vernal, Utah. It's 30 miles outside of Skinwalker Ranch. All of these rocks are from the Unita Basin. I think there's magic in them. I have rocks from the basin that I keep every day near us during the show just saying i got rocks near the unita basin that i have look how happy he is he's a happy man searching for the aliens you know that's all you need more of just the sheer joy look they're like we're on an adventure hey this is like me chris and lynn we got in a big old pickup truck and went through the desert this is exactly what we did too except we didn't have a tv crew following us that would have been cool um then they get some people together start looking up at the skies you know do some ce5 like we all do when we come across our alien friends yeah um and so let me get some of these quotes janet osborne jack says writing off the idea of ufos aliens or any kind of life outside of planet earth is incredibly ignorant i think we're all in agreement with that i mean fudge I think we all, in this ufology, Rich is here, so I'll say ufology, in this ufology world. Oh my gosh, we got First Floor Audio in the chat. You guys, all the tracks are by First Floor Audio. Lee, he goes live every Saturday at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and the evenings. Love you, man. All the music's amazing. Yes, and so, I mean, all of us kind of know that there's intelligent life somewhere. It's amazing what a difficult conversation that is with our coworkers, with our friends, with our families. Some people believe it. Some people are like, I've never seen it. I don't believe it. Some people have to see it to believe it. I don't blame them, uh, but I just feel like the numbers are in our favor. 
Um, Congress confirmed that some are not man-made and could potentially pose a threat. All right. Jack feels there's much more that the government isn't telling us. Thank you, Jack Osborne. I think his dad's proud of him. Do you guys notice in the thumbnail I put, uh, what did I put? I'm proud, son. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I am proud, son. I bet Ozzy Osborne's proud. You know, that's the thing, man. Like, this new generation that's older, they're into it, you know? Like, my parents are like, maybe, you know, I don't know. Like, we got a lot of really cool stuff. So I think Ozzy Osbourne's proud of Jack. Um, for the reason... And, and he talked about Eisenhower in this video right here. I want to get another clip of him. Here's his thinking. Here's he's doing this. Here's them concerned. There's that guy on the left. I don't remember his name. But, um... What's the point of this? I would say the point of this all is that TMZ has done some great coverage. They've done some great coverage of UFO stuff. Like there's no denying that TMZ has done some great coverage of UFO stuff. Um, I can name two incidents where they did. The first was, um, so the numbers, right? Like you take Drake's equation. This is my personal opinion as to why I talk about why we have intelligent life out there. Um, and this is, you know, I'm going to throw it down. I believe it 100% that there's intelligent life out there somewhere in the cosmos. I believe based on the mathematical equation of the Drakes, I believe if you take in how big the universe is, the amount of exoplanets that exist every day, the more understanding that we have of life, the idea that we understand that there's even like micro life that, that exists in caves that are arsenic based and that we're carbon based. I mean, everybody has different opinions. Um, but you're right. We don't know, which is why we always try to put, let's, let's do this in the chat. Great question. You know, cause like I said, I do this a lot where I'm like, well, I think there's intelligent life. That's an opinion. Like we really can't base anything more off of an opinion than that. Right? Like that's, it is an opinion. And it's not a fact. It's more like a theory, right? A theory that has facts that kind of support it. Right? So we're going to do a discussion, a little poll in the chat. Because I think you guys all like, all you, you guys all know that I don't like to... I, don't mention Eisenhower without me being notified immediately. Yeah. And, you know, that's the interesting thing is about um, Laura Eisenhower. Laura Eisenhower is a huge UFO advocate. Um, Apollo Asteria has interviewed her. Uh, she's been on... Um, she's been on third phase of moon and she frequents concerts or concerts conferences quite a lot um, So I've always thought that Lauren Eisenhower um, knows something my parents started watching unsealed files where they talk also about the treaty that discussion I can't remember the name of the treaty but the treaty is about Eisenhower giving us giving the aliens permission to abduct us and other stuff that's allegedly what happens and Laura Eisenhower man she's all over it Go subscribe to her. Um, she's always talking about the aliens. And hopefully maybe one day we can get her on the show. That would be amazing. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. More we try. Good morning, David. Hey, good morning, data deviations, deviations. You know, I, I can't have trouble reading things. Um, I just look at her through the chat, through the chat. You guys always make me laugh so much. Um, but yeah, you know, so that's kind of the thought process that I have behind it. My biggest thing is I am so happy. Oh yeah. I already got there, Amy. Yeah. The, you got there. Okay. Ditto, man. <laughs> let's do the, let's do the chat. You know, um, this is opinion, you know, but I don't, do you think, uh, there, and we'll do a maybe category. There is intelligent life out there we'll say yes no it's pretty basic right but i can't i can't i gotta know what you guys think um i can't just be making up or assuming i know what you guys are thinking in the chat right um because i want to know what your opinion is on this stuff more than anything hey what's up man um everyone just calls me data amy okay cool what's up data it has to be intelligent life or they would land and cause a massive headache for the new world order. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing, right? The aliens, the reptilians, the New York. I wonder what Wikipedia banner we'll get 
after this, unless they've heard me voice very deliberately, uh, you know, that I know they're putting, <sighs> we gotta stop. We're streaming on Twitch, we're streaming on Twitter, we're streaming on YouTube. Do me a favor and go follow us on Twitch, because we're gonna keep talking, we're keep, gonna keep walking, we're gonna keep going. And we don't know whose toes we're gonna step on. We don't know how far this free speech can go. And, you know, I've had conversations about free speech, you know. I think that's for a judge to decide, right? Like, let's not get into it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hey, it's hidden underbelly. Oh my gosh, you guys. He's got some great UFOs. <clears throat> In fact, he went over this one. I think it was yesterday. Unless, <clears throat> like all of you know, I have a horrible time remembering anything. Um, but I'm just going to go to our buddies, Third Phase of Moon real quick because they did awesome coverage of this UFO that happened and I actually learned from from them I mean I don't know I only hear what I hear you know when I talk about this kind of stuff and when I follow it but you know we've got we've got some amazing footage so Hitter Better Belly talked about this yesterday and I think it was on third phase of the moon too. It's hard to remember. There's so many UFOs that happen, right? And this, is it this one? Yeah, it happened, I guess, in, in Santa Monica, right? And it happened in Santa Monica. Look, Blake's on the show. The cousins, look. Look, you guys, Blake is on the show today. We got Blake on the show today. And we also have, you know who else is on the show today? You guys know, he's on the show every day. We got Lou, Lou on the show. Yeah, we get a lot of people on the show. <laughs> so, there's a lot of, I feel like uh, begging, you know, like <laughs> I feel like I beg, I beg a lot. Um, so let's see. So this, this happened, this was great. Um, this video was seen and there were multiple people who saw it, right? I saw this on Twitter a couple days ago. We may have even talked about it a bit, but um, yeah, like it was over and all these people who were looking at it totally saw it. So when you look at it, whatever, I'll just, I'm gonna play it. I think the Cousins Brothers can forgive me. They told me I could show like a little clip here and there. I don't know. It's on mute. I'm sorry, b, &B. <laughs> Ah, Blake Cousins is talking on Alien Girl. Look, he's like, oh, I love this show. Alien Girl's amazing. It's the best show on its son. Everyone needs to subscribe. Just kidding. But we are looking at the UFO that the Cousins Brothers had submitted to their show and, and they reviewed. Here's the thing about this video footage is there's a lot of people who did the footage and like, um, I don't know if we can see it. Oh, look, it's just zooming by. There were a lot of people who filmed this, and there's actually a, a video, <laughs> I think you can kind of see it, let me see if I can go back. There's actually a video, let me see here. When we go back, this is the important part. Look at all the people, okay? I want you to notice how many people have their phones out. That's what makes this a little bit interesting, is there are multiple people here, I'll go big screen. There are multiple people here who are looking at this UFO. They've all got their phones out. And when you look at it a little bit closer, you can see that you actually can see people filming what they're filming. So that would mean, <clears throat> sorry. That would mean if they faked it, okay? That would mean if, if they faked it, right? What would end up happening is this whoever faked it would have had to take this image and put it on all the little screens which which is possible right but um look at this ufo go man and the truth of the matter is like you know we don't know we don't know look at it it's flying away there goes the aliens man yeah yeah, there goes the aliens. Yeah, that's what we like here on the show. We like the aliens. Um, but like I said, I know we're talking about Jack Osborne, and I still kind of want to discuss this just a little bit. Um, we went over the Hill article that's been trending on hashtag UFO Twitter. Um, it was interesting for sure. We all got, I think, some good information out of it for sure. Um, you know, but like in another way, it's like another day of disclosure, and then we got some more UFOs, and things are happening every single day, every single way. Do me a favor. <clears throat> Do me a favor right now. 
because I think we can get this up. I think we can get this out. I think we can get this information going. Guess what? We got that government. And they're not. Do- they're, they need to tell us about the aliens. They need to telling. Yes, something is messing with us. That is right, boss. Something is messing with us. Something is happening. They think they can hide it. That's what I was saying. When we started looking at the Hill article, I was like, yeah, they're hiding. You know, but that's why we wake up every day and we say, hey, but I guess it's a specific way to say, we know you have 24 videos, you need to disclose them, which I like. Okay, you got 24 videos, disclosing them, I like that, whatever, you know. <clears throat> so we got a lot, a lot of UFOs rolling down the line, you guys, a lot of UFOs. And that reminds me, we're just going to do a little update about the Artemis launch real quick here, um, because that's happening too. Uh, so I got this from the Orlando Sentinel. The Artemis is constantly right now just being delayed, 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 right? And we don't know what's going to happen with the weather. We don't know what's going to, oh man, we don't know what's going to happen. We'll look at her though. But we all, you know, but it's like the anticipation. It's like, oh my gosh, this gets better and better every day. It's coming. Oh man, these are great. Oh man. Huh. Look at these photos. It kind of makes it like going up way better in some ways, you know, I wish I could expand this. Let's see. Can I make this big? Oh, there we go. Here's the expand. Perfect. And then I can be big and hang out with you guys and make commentary about this image. So yeah, it's coming down. NASA, I mean, they keep delaying it. Oh, look, there's a UFO. Do you guys see that UFO in that picture right there? Look. One of, one of those, one of those UFOs would be flying. I see it. There it is. There's the aliens rolling right by Artemis. You know, I don't know why these aliens show up around the, around our rockets. You know, um, these are awesome photos. Though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they stopped it at forty. You guys were here that day. They stopped it at forty. No, um, I know a thing or two when it comes to fakes. The eventual manned rocket to the moon will explode. Yes, so there's going to be a lot of parties this weekend. It's happening on Saturday. I'm very, you know, I'm very excited about it. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know, you know, but I'm just having, I'm hoping it launches on Saturday. That would be super cool. I mean, we got some people. I mean, I hope it launches on Saturday. It's, but hey, I don't want them blowing it up either, right? That would be the worst thing ever if like this thing just blew up. Like it would be cry time. It would be cry time. It would be crying. I know, I was sad. <laughs> Tim says, damn Amy, you make the morning go fast, faster than a TR3B. Yes, <clears throat> we go fast here. We go 500 million thousand light year miles. Yeah, it's going to be great when it happens. It's going to be great when it happens. Oh, it's like even just looking at the photos, it's like, maybe it's when's it going to happen. Oh my gosh, we're taking photos. I can't wait. I'm losing my mind. I don't know when it's going to shoot off. I don't know. The, the ticker that wouldn't stop at 40. But hey, I don't want them blowing them up, right? Like we're putting people, we're putting people on the next one and a lot of people are going to be watching we don't want this one to go awry but believe it or not i was looking at it the other day considering the dangers of space there's been about 800 people ever in human history who have been in outer space um and and what also is fascinating is that 30 ca- 30 30 people have died um in space flight right um so that's interesting Oh, that guy kind of looks like Jack Valet. <laughs> it's probably not, though. All right, all right, all right. So we got a lot of images there of our beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning, amazing rocket. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. I don't, let's see, what do you guys got? Oh my gosh, yes. Wow. I thought so. I thought all of you would more than likely think that there's intelligent life out there. We got 7% with a maybe, but we have 0% saying no. 
I freaking knew it. Even the math, even it all, it's a good solid theory. We got 30 votes. Please vote at the top of the chat because we need to double check. We had a double, triple check. Double, triple check. Double, triple check what you guys are thinking. I heard both Friday and Saturday. Uh, what's the latest date? I was trying to find it yesterday. It is on. I'll pull it up. It's going to be Saturday. Uh, no. I'm optimistic that we'll have another clear air. If scrubs Saturday, here you go. And they usually do this on Eastern Standard Time. Um, so this would be 3.15 Mountain Standard Time. Chris, this would more than likely be 4.15 uh, Central Standard Time, I think, of Oklahoma. I don't know. So, um, but here, I'll pull up the little, the little thing from the article. And I also have the article down below in the description um, if you want to double check the times. But here's what I found. If it scrubs Saturday, the next window will be Labor Day. Um, so if it scrubs on Saturday, we got Labor Day. Uh, what time do we got here? Because my dad was asking yesterday and I was like, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> here we go. It'll put the rocket up on Saturday. Yeah, we'll figure it out, right? We always do. We always do. And I know there's going to be tons and tons of launch parties all amongst everybody in in the in the community and and you know i'm not I, i'm not, i don't want to i don't want to take away from from the parties plus i you know so on monday we're going to discuss it actually fudge if saturday is scrubbed well i just it's gonna be hard not to do a party you know or jump on some other ones i know Thurf is wounded open stream yards i would do that if they go live what is up for my blocks it's good to see you again <laughs> Bab says, I'll be standing in the beach this Saturday. I'm taking margaritas either way. Good for you. Okay, so I'm just looking at a couple of the different things that we wanted to talk about. But to kind of round it out in terms of celebrities discussing UFOs, this is great. We need more of this. It's interesting that we have like a lot, a lot of... Uh, rock stars that like to discuss this topic right <laughs> i mean he's not a rock star but like i don't know i'm sure it's in his genes i'm sure he's got a little bit of rock I mean, he was brought up by ozzy osbourne mm. beautiful thank you so it's around the early evening in the uk on saturday when it launches which would mean it would probably be afternoon or noonish. i don't know i think here I think here um yeah we need yeah yeah rock stars are open minds we are extraterrestrials 100 percent. i also believe that we are alien hybrids i guess i have a lot more beliefs than i thought but i'm very very happy to see that maybe i didn't maybe i didn't estimate so far those polls are going in, so be sure to put your poll, put your vote in at the top of the chat. I really want to know what you think. We got 3% saying no. So, I mean, some people don't believe that it's out there. Um, some people believe we are alone. 3% of our chat room this morning believes we are alone in the universe. That's a sad thought. <sighs> my spirit, my spirit says otherwise, man. But that's still a, a, an astounding, uh, like really astounding. Yeah, it's obviously, what's the word? Biased. <laughs> I mean, I wake up every day and I'm like, there's those aliens zipping around. Like, of course, of course. You know, but I always want to check with you guys. You know, I don't want to be talking about how the, I mean, I mean, I can't, I mean, on this show, we're going to talk about how the aliens are real, right? That's what we got. 91% said yes. 6% said maybe. And we got that 3% of the chat that says no. Which is fascinating for me. Like, seriously, fascinating. But the great news about this is I love seeing TMZ 
discuss this more. I love seeing TMZ review this information much more. TMZ has really pulled themselves up from the ground. And you know what? Now they're discussing pertinent issues that the public really cares about and wants to hear. And it's also controversial. And guess what? Sensational. UFOs, no matter what we do, is sensational. Um, yeah, we have some serious researchers and that's really great. And even I'm trying to get as much information as I can uh, to share with you guys every morning in in this sort of casual laid back discussion with with the interactive chat, um, you know, but we have other major media networks such as TMZ reviewing this information. TMZ also accosted uh, Rubio in the airport and Rubio said, if they're not from here, they came from somewhere else. They got that quote. And I also believe they went and they um, <clears throat> talked to Burchett. They found Tim Burchett on the streets um, and they asked for a quote from him. And Tim Burchett discussed uh, the Roswell bodies and how there's something going on at Roswell. Something going on at <laughs> Roswell. There is. I don't know. Play Black Sabbath one. I'm trying to avoid the copyright hits. We're already talking the talk. Interesting. Zach says the 3% is just one person who voted no, and I'm sure they just did it to be funny and a contrarian. I get that feeling too. And it's okay. You know, you could you could joke with us. Hey Rick, good morning. That's fine. You can joke with us. We don't care. We're laid back little chat here. Um, a lot of us believe in aliens, though. Um, <laughs> critical voices are needed in the field, you know, because Rich was in here saying, I didn't know. I mean, but maybe he was probably being sarcastic. I'll probably get a message later. Maybe, yeah, of course, I believe aliens are somewhere. I just lose my mind, man. That's the one thing that uh, triggers me really bad. Is when people tell me they don't think that there's extraterrestrial life in the universe. It triggers me pretty bad. That's why I can't talk about it in my everyday life. Because um, I get I get that, right? It's just not a discussion that people want to have. And uh, it triggers me. So I, I let it out here, honestly. Like, this is one of the few places that I feel... I mean, I wake up in the twilight hour. <laughs> I go to a hidden place in mi casita. And we talk about the aliens, you know what I mean? And um, that's just what we do here on Alien World. We talk about them aliens um, for a lot of different reasons. Because I think it's real. And I think we all, you know, I think every day we wake up and we Maybe I've just brainwashed everybody in the chat, right? I've just, if you come to the show, you've just been brainwashed by me. I'm like, well, they're alien now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You know, there's all sorts of reasons that this poll could be flawed but you know when these polls are have a lot of votes they're legit you know they're a little bit legit for sure for sure my lovelies for sure yes 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 and we never know what's gonna happen next you guys i'm going to new york city i haven't been to new york city in 25 years man all expenses paid. How does that happen? Because you never know what's going to happen next. You never know. You might be thinking like, you know, it's, 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 it's always going to be this way. It's always going to be the same. And it's not. It's not. Because how did you get here? <laughs> how in the hell of the YouTube algorithm? Right, Ed? Did you manage to find yourself here, Glenn the Sloth? We're going to be saying thank you to all those super chats in just a bit. Boz, I mean, mind blown. Here we are. Because you know what? They're real. Oh, sweet. Nice. The aliens are real. They're out there. Don't forget it. You know in your heart when we look up at the sky because we are broadcasting here live and alive in the middle of the desert in the heart of alien country hey and one day it's all gonna come out you guys 
the bodies, the documents, the craft, three of them, three of them. I gotta go be on your show soon, man, we gotta get this, and they're gonna say that they always knew, right? And they're gonna say, no, man, I was listening to all my podcast friends, and I was, and I was also listening to Alien Girl. One, one, one. Thank you so much. I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Catfish. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Babs Williamson, for the super chat. And yes, August was fire and September is here. And we got all sorts of things happening. We got TMZ talking about it. We got politicians talking about it. We got them all talking about it because it's been happening every single day, every single way. Because you know what, glutton the sloth? They might say, you are crazy, that we don't know what's going on, but we know that is not true. It's not, guys. Don't feel bad, man. It's not true. And I love each and every single one of you more than you can possibly know. And I will see you tomorrow. TGI UFO. This is one of my favorite parts of the song.